this is Brian from Provision Studios. Um, I've been gone a little while. I've been doing some uh, revisions in my studio, some upgrades. Uh, therefore, I've been um, really out of pocket with making videos or tutorial videos for that matter uh, because I've been working on getting my gear straight and figuring out exactly what I was going to be moving forward with my equipment. Anyway, enough of that. Um, I've gotten several emails and requests, even got a couple phone calls from people asking me to do some videos uh, on certain topics. So I'm going to start off uh, knocking some of those out with um, a tutorial on removing vocals from a song. <clears throat> Please pardon me, I'm a little under the weather, my voice is a little, little hoarse, but either way... Uh, uh, this would be very um, useful in certain um, situations where you might have a client who wants to pay you to record them singing over a popular song. Uh, maybe you get hired to do a wedding and the groom wants to sing a song to his, his new wife, his new bride. <clears throat> that would be a good uh, opportunity for them to have their vocals removed. There would be several other instances where this could be useful as well, karaoke, what, what have you. Either way, it's a simple procedure that has several steps. So I'm going to get into that right here and show you how to do it. All right. First thing um, you would do is you would want to import the audio track. So you go File, Import Audio. And um, for this, I'm going to use um, Give Me Three Steps by Leonard Skinner. Great, great song. Um, <coughs> this may actually be one that someone may even request for you. It's very popular. <coughs> as soon as this is done processing, it's going to ask me if I want to import it as a track or if I want to add it to the clip list. This is Pro Tools 10. Clip list is the same as what was normally known or uh, previously known as the regions list. Same thing, they just changed the name. Nothing changes in how it's affected. It does the same thing. I'm going to import this as a new track. So now I have that song imported into my Pro Tools session as a stereo track. And here it is. Let's go to, uh, so I think the vocal comes in around right here. There it is. Vocal music sounds great. Okay, person says, hey, I want to sing this song at bachelor party, graduation, whatever, yada, yada, yada. Could you record me? Here's some cash. Record me singing that song. What do you do? Well, you take the vocals out. And here's a simple way to do that. Now, obviously, there's more than one way to do this. I'm going to show you a, just a real simple way. Take the track. You right click on the track and you click split into mono. <clears throat> so now I've got that song split into a left and a right channel on two separate tracks. You want to mute the original track. So now we've got no difference. Sounds spectacular. Okay. <clears throat> now this is where the editing comes in. You're going to uh, command equal to go over to your mix window. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pan everything center. <clears throat> you can do all and then click on the pan knobs for both channels and that set resets them automatically to uh, your zero pan and then here's the key either your left or right track. Let me move transport out of the way you can see what's going on <clears throat> either your left or your right track you're going to put an EQ on it right here you've got one band EQ it's really that's all you got to do once you get the EQ on one of your two tracks you're going to go to your uh, in your most EQs have this a phase reverse you're going to click on it it's right here you just click on it and now what you have done is you have effectively canceled out 
the center of your mix, <clears throat> which is where most professionally recorded songs have the vocal lane. I'm going to go back to the, let me close that. Go, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to go back to the edit window. Now I'm going to click on the track now that we've put on in the phase reverse through the EQ on the left channel. Now the vocals are gone. Now you can hear a remnant. That is the studio's reverb. <clears throat> so that's going to be there. But that is a lot better than that. Now, I know what you're saying. That sounds like crap. Okay. There's more than one way to skin a cat. <clears throat> Again, what we did when we reversed the phase on that left channel is we pretty much scooped out the middle uh, pan. Anything that was pan in the middle just got phase reversed out. Okay. <clears throat> So what we want to do, or what we can do, is we can go back, let's unmute the original track, and we're going to put an EQ on it. Now what we're going to do is we are going to put a low pass filter on that track. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to reintroduce the center back into it minus the vocals. So, let me roll this down. Now, depending on, on the song, your frequency is going to change. I'm going to try this out. Not bad at all. You've just taken the song and reintroduced your bass back in there. You've got the vocals out. Now, again, that reverb tail is going to be in there. There's really nothing you can do with it. Um, but that is definitely good enough, clean enough, to where someone can come in and sing over top of that, and their vocal probably will cover up that the majority of that reverb tail anyway. <clears throat> That is one simple way to remove vocals from a Pro Tools session.